Hello honeys, it's Yols and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't been filming this week just because I have been so busy in a good way but also overwhelmed at the same time. Like one of the days this week I was just like, I feel like I was crashing. I just didn't feel well, I wanted to sleep even though I had major deadlines. Um, but yeah, I'm so grateful to do what I do. At the same time, it does get overwhelming, especially during this time because there's a lot of emotions involved during lockdown, trust me. I wanted to talk about just starting. I get a lot of questions asking about timing, alignment, how to start, where to start, and why um, the starting point. And I wanna start with the last one because a lot of the times we want to start something but we don't really have our why. Sometimes we overcomplicate our why, like we expect a why to be so huge and so like, oh my gosh, it's this big purpose. When your why could simply be just fulfilling a curiosity that you have, you know? A lot of the times, especially in my life, I've seen where I've started things without the big, oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing just look at my channel <laughs> and look at the first few videos I genuinely did it for my own sanity I literally put up a camera because I wanted to feel better and I wanted to channel my energy which I could not channel at the bank I couldn't channel in my corporate life you know I felt boxed I felt as though I just needed an outlet to release my energy and then when I cut my hair I simply talked about it on my channel because I wanted like-minded people to support me on this journey because those who are the most closest to me I just didn't feel their support I had long relaxed hair and they weren't really fully into the whole natural hair thing right so I want to start by saying your why does not have to be philosophical your why doesn't even have to make sense a lot of times you can literally just wake up with a great idea and be like I want to fulfill that crazy as it sounds you know I just want to fulfill that and before you even and get to the starting part understand that that should be your motivation i find a lot of the times when you do start a lot of things start aligning and i think that's where the almighty comes in and he says yeah that was my idea <laughs> i actually put that in your mind because i know your destiny i know your purpose i know the promises that i have for you and your life you know and we don't understand that we don't have to but when you do have that small idea or you do have that itch that craving that curiosity that need to have an outlet to channel your energy do it just do it i know i've said this before my sister actually called me the other day and she was like yeah you know a lot of the times it's easy for you to say just do it but you are a doer you know you are an executor and not a lot of people are executors so i want us to dig deep with what that really means like how does one actually get up and go but before i get there i do want us to understand that your why is your greatest motivator and allow that to be your push to start don't worry about the how yet just understand the why if i know that i'm doing youtube simply because I'm curious about this thing just do it that is reason enough you don't have to have a great explanation for other people you just have to have one that satisfies you so now that we've got our why done <laughs> let's get into the how how do I start y'all how do I know if this is the right thing you already know because you had the idea it's yours it's inside your heart um, a lot of the times if it is an idea and you think about it once and it goes away and then it comes back again girl that's when you know it's your idea and you should probably move on it otherwise you're gonna see somebody else doing the same thing and you're gonna wonder why you didn't start and possibly that if you had started you probably would have done it better and that happens so many times I'm getting excited can you hear so let's get into starting <laughs> The simplest way for me to start a project is to put a date literally just attach a date to it and it helps me have a goal and i always say this it's funny because it always leads to my signature thread of having a goal and setting something listen if you want to start a candle company even setting a date saying tomorrow at eight o'clock or tomorrow at 9 a.m i want to google places that make candles just for my market research i just want to see what's out there or on friday when i've got my three hours of free time i want to just watch youtube channels of youtubers who make candles of youtubers who are in the business of selling candles of youtubers who package candles i just want to understand the business trust me that is a step in the right direction you don't need to start big joanna k here on youtube actually speaks about um starting small 
but thinking big so you can think big you can have that big vision don't limit your your thoughts don't limit your ideas don't limit your vision do not limit your dreams i cannot stress that enough but start small literally by using your phone setting that alarm i'm talking right now babes while you're listening to this video let's go to our reminders put that reminder down just to do your market research just to check what's out there okay you can start by doing that next thing google places in south africa or whichever country you are in that actually manufacture candles okay if you are a great diyer why not even test how to make your own candles find out places that have got that manufacture wax for candles okay if you don't know how to do that your phone will direct you google will direct you twitter so many of us are so vocal on twitter but we cannot vocalize hey guys do you know any wax manufacturers hmm? yeah i'm talking to you i'm literally just trying to simplify the word start because it seems so complicated some people are saying it needs so much capital when you think about it it doesn't it's just a text a phone call a google search away from you literally executing this big idea or small idea that you have just to feed your curiosity or just to feed that thing that is telling you very loud and clear that this is your purpose once you've started let me tell you one thing and that's one thing i've learned and i can actually put out there because most of you have seen it things align okay and that is why i bring god in the picture because he's always been there he creates places before people so that the foundation is set so if you are preparing for the rain you actually have to physically prepare whether the rain is coming when the rain is coming how the rain is coming you need not know that cultivate the land and the rain will come the neighbor who has not cultivated the land see see the rain will come and the land will not be ready you never want to be found unready especially where your vision your dream um, your goals and that thing your purpose is concerned so find yourself being busy with this idea start and things will be set in motion I've seen many a times in my career my YouTube career if I hadn't started certain things if I hadn't attended my first pro beauty expo right which just literally has supplies of hair had nothing to do with um, invites for influencers they had nothing to do with influences at all it was just suppliers of beauty products um, all in one places at the Gallagher estate and it's big suppliers you know that are talking to each other it's a marketplace for them if I hadn't attended that I would never have gotten the invite to my first L'Oreal event I would have never gotten a chance to talk to um, an agent and a marketing director who would lead me to actually eventually you know do my first competition three months after I cut my hair that was sponsored by dark and lovely so you think of those things and that relationship started right there that was the big house yellow real that i went to i gave them my number and i said to them i'm a hair blogger that time there were three videos of hair on my channel i had just cut my hair guys and then boom i get my first invite to my first event as a blogger when i never signed up to be a blogger <laughs> i never thought that this thing could even pay any bills today i sit down and this is my full-time job and that was the bigger vision but at the time i started so small not even knowing the bigger vision what i knew is that i was curious about this platform what i knew is that i sit on this platform already just on the other side of the screen and watch so many creators teach me things so i wanted to be on this side of the screen teaching other people motivating other people inspiring other people to live out their purpose to get in the front seat of their lives and drive their lives and that's literally what i did I didn't get the most expensive equipment i did not need to find the best lighting i'm still using natural lighting even though i've got uh two ring lights now <laughs> my second one just got delivered today but you think of those things and now i look back and i'm like actually i was aligned <laughs> actually gal you cultivated the land at the right time you were found ready Find yourself ready with the things that you desire to do. Don't let starting stop you. Something else that I wanted to also mention, an actionable step, besides just putting this thing on your phone, align yourself with people who will help you bring your vision to fruition, okay? I have a special friend. <laughs> I say special because my husband's right here and sometimes when we talk for two hours, this friend of mine, she actually made an example saying, y'all, everyone needs a board of directors in their friend circle you need 
people to bounce off great ideas to who will not be out to you know be mean or you know envious of your vision but rather they'll help you refine it they'll help you mold it you know like fine gold um, they'll put enough pressure on you just like a diamond needs that pressure to become a diamond she's that person that I reach out to and I've got a small idea and I've thought of small things and she just adds more spice to it and she asks me questions that challenge my thinking things that make me and force me to apply my mind you know so you need those people it can be one person she is that one person actually two people the second person you all know Kopano from Kopano the blog um, someone else who gives me practical ways of just getting up and doing things I I find myself being a doer but I'm not the best doer they are these are two people who action things like next day delivery okay theirs is faster than than fast way <laughs> they, they delivery is faster than take a lot okay <laughs> sorry take a lot but literally they think of something today and tomorrow they execute I need those people in my circle so that they can motivate me and push me but I'm not forcing that onto them it just so happens that when we talk we find ourselves in a boardroom sitting brainstorming about how we can better our lives and how we can create ways to uh, bring those curiosities to life you know i think of anything i just speak to her she thinks of anything she speaks to me and all of a sudden we create synergies that don't need any money any exchange she doesn't owe me anything i don't owe her anything but they bring about change they bring about results and that's what i want to encourage you with that is the the two ways you can really start with your phone and the people that are around you okay have that sounding board always try and find a sounding board so that your ideas are refined and possibly somebody can help you think of better ways i mean sometimes i'm frustrated and i'm like to my husband you i don't know where to find xyz next thing he sends me a link on whatsapp on that thing they're living if you bring i toy okay that i could not find oh my goodness it's so huge i need so much capital i look for people who are doing it that look just like me and you you know a lot of the times you even find Uti, there are so many i mean even on online on youtube black creators who are doing massive things they're not they're not having the prettiest background some of them had to waitress for a year before doing what they're actually doing now before getting into business before having to enough money to invest in their businesses you know from there you'll start finding ways to uh, uh, you know possibly attract investors you'll find ways to possibly save up just enough to be able to pay a supply how are you ever going to know that something is expensive if you don't actually start and find a supplier who you can negotiate a great price with i don't want to oversimplify uh, the complexity of starting a business but i don't also want to complicate it because it's it's not always that complicated sometimes you literally and i always say this you have to build the plane as you fly it you have to get into it to really know what's happening i want you to understand that you can only get into certain things and get into cir certain circles and alignment as well once you actually start so do start so now let's talk about this whole word alignment because i hear it a lot as well how do you know you're aligned y'all you know you're aligned when the rain comes <laughs> you know you're on the right track when the rain comes and you've been cultivating the land you know you know you aligned when you started a lip gloss company and somebody says let me invest in you i don't want anything in return or i want this and that in return and you the ball is in your court and it's for you to, to decide you know you aligned when you start a youtube channel and you see people sending you results of your advice you literally start seeing results once you're in it how else would you have known that you have power to influence if somebody doesn't tell you hey i went to clicks and i took your advice i literally bought your whole hair arsenal how do you know that how would i have ever known that if i did not even start you know how do i pitch to clients and tell them i can influence my audience's buying power i can influence their consumer choices i can only do that with all the dms that i have um, and tags that i have with pictures and testimonials that i have with people saying i watched x and y z video and this is what i've done with your advice do you get what i'm saying but how do you do that if you are not a doer? You literally have to start. So I'm challenging you today to go onto your phone, literally set that alarm. 
set that reminder and start searching that thing that's in you that's itching needs to be satisfied in some point and if you do want to take this time especially lockdown where we do have a lot more time on our hands take this time to really dig into your curiosities and explore them take this time to um try out things you know some of us have been retrenched i've, I've gotten so many dms of a lot of people who are retrenched this is the time to look at what you can do as i've said before to serve the, the current need um this is what you can do to try and maybe explore the passions that you've always had the diy projects you know show them off on instagram you know um if you're a great person who advises who motivates do those igtv videos get that great lighting sit in front of a window um and film those things motivate other people who need it you satisfying the greatest need does not mean that you have to have the greatest capital it doesn't need you to have the most money to do so okay these are things that you can do by simply applying your mind and i'm always going to be the person that's encouraging you and motivating you to do so we are all smart we're all intelligent we are all beautiful and we all literally have space in this world we just need to take it up we just need to own it okay and as miss universe said we need to cement ourselves so that is what i want to leave you with if ever you want to start set a date and actually do it and obviously this video cannot be ended without me saying that you and obviously i cannot end this video without stressing the fact that you are your own accountability partner in the beginning of this journey you are the only one who can motivate yourself out of bed you're the only one who can say i'm going to stick to this i'm not going to press the snooze button for too long we've been faithful to the snooze button but choose today to not be faithful cheat on the snooze button okay and be faithful to yourself be faithful to your purpose be faithful to aligning with the things that you really know you probably call to do the things that you have an inkling feeling that you're destined to do you don't have to really know you only really know once you're in it and you are most likely going to see things coming and falling into place once you have started i want us all to win i want us to raise each other get to the next level make that our new foundation you know what i'm saying i really can't leave because this is how much i missed you guys i love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you've been fighting and sitting you know this has been good content you've been taking notes so you might as well click subscribe it's absolutely free bye